Today is Monday, September the 13th, 2021, and welcome back to another weather video. First of all, I would like all of you to, if you can, subscribe and like to the channel. That would be very appreciated to um, my channel growing. But let's get into this video. We are going to be talking about Tropical Storm Nicholas. It just made land, well, not made landfall, but it's trying to make landfall into the Texas Gulf Coast. You can see on this radar right here, um, most of the rain starting to come down into Freeport, Bay City, Galveston, starting to see that heavy rain, and that will eventually move up into the Houston area. So if you live in Houston, it's going to be a very rainy night, and tomorrow is going to be rainy as well. So get ready for uh, Nicholas to make landfall around your area if you live in Houston. So let's time out the forecast. So right now it is off coast. Most of the tropical storm force winds are off coast. We do have a tropical storm warning for basically the entire Gulf Coast of Texas, the Texas Gulf Coast. It will move into the Texas Gulf Coast sometime tonight, probably around midnight, one o'clock tonight. It will probably be making landfall in Texas. Then by tomorrow, by tomorrow afternoon, by 1 p.m. tomorrow, it will still be a tropical storm somewhere over Houston. Then it will decrease into a depression as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. But it will bring a lot of rain into Louisiana and Mississippi. So even though Nicholas um, is still a tropical storm, it will decrease into a tropical depression it will still unleash a lot of rain, some wind, but mostly a lot of rain. So we do have tropical storm warnings for the entire Texas Gulf Coast. Here is the rainfall, just as I was talking about. Here's the rainfall for the area, the Houston area, particularly not sparsity, what? Sparsity, that's not a question. Um, here is the rainfall forecast. Much of the rain will be around the southeast Texas Gulf Coast, around Beaumont, Galveston, Victoria, not Victoria, um, Port Aransas, not Port Aransas. I'm sorry. I don't live in Texas area, but I'm just naming some little towns and cities. I know Galveston, Beaumont, Port Arthur, Orange, Texas, they're going to get a lot of rain, anywhere from six to 10 inches of rain. Around the New Orleans area, y'all are going to get anywhere from four to six inches of rain. In Lake Charles, anywhere from four to six inches of rain. But just to the west of Lake Charles, y'all can get anywhere from six to ten inches of rain. But um, most of this rain is going to fall into southeast Texas, much of southern Louisiana, and into southeastern and southwestern Mississippi. So that is the rainfall forecast. Here's the wind speed probabilities. We do have a anywhere from an 80 to a 90 percent chance of seeing those uh, tropical storm force winds around the eye, well, not the eye, around the center of the tropical storm. The Houston area will get anywhere from 60 to 70 percent chance of seeing tropical storm force winds, which basically you're going to see winds anywhere from 40 to probably 70 miles per, per hour in the Houston area. But let's go back to um, the flash flooding possibility. We do have a high chance anywhere into southeastern um, Gulf Coast area around the Houston, Galveston area. Y'all will see a, a high chance of seeing some flooding, mainly a lot of southern Louisiana. That includes New Orleans, Lake Charles, Baton Rouge, back into Houston, just to the north of Corpus Christi. Y'all have a moderate chance of seeing flash flooding and then anywhere from the yellow to the green, that was anywhere from a slight to a marginal risk of seeing some flooding. But then as we get into Thursday, you can see down here into southeastern Louisiana, we might have a moderate chance. So it's just not going to be a good situation, especially in the New Orleans area. We've been talking about New Orleans for at least two weeks now. They're still dealing with recovery efforts still trying to get the power back on and now we got rain coming and some wind will be coming into the new orleans area so it's just that these storms just don't need to hit this area again the texas louisiana area go hit 
Florida or go hit the East Coast. Why are we why is it hitting, you know, the Gulf of Mexico? But I get the Gulf of Mexico is very warm and very juicy in the atmosphere. So of course it's going to promote more strengthening and more strong storm. So let's time it out. As we get into Tuesday, this storm will be moving into southwestern Louisiana. So around Lake Charles, y'all will see a lot of heavy rain. And then it'll move on Wednesday into Mississippi and Alabama. Then it will get kicked up by a cold front and move into the southeastern U.S. So around South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, we'll see a lot of moisture, the remaining moisture from Nicholas, and there'll be a cold front moving through. So we're going to have a lot more moisture from that. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Hopefully um, you guys in Texas stay safe from Nicholas, even though it's just a tropical storm, it still can be dangerous, especially the flooding around the Houston area. Y'all will um, Y'all have a lot of flooding in that area. So um, hopefully stay safe. Please be um, cautious about flooding. Uh, the winds might have some down power lines, a couple down power lines, some trees down, but I don't think it's going to be a big deal for this area. Thankfully, it will be moving out quickly. So probably as we get into tomorrow afternoon, it will move um, out of Texas into Louisiana. So thankfully it will be doing that. But anyway, thanks for watching this video for today and I will see you on the next one. Have a good rest of your day and bye.